If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in geography at least to an extent, enough to be on YouTube learning about it. But the fact is, an average person isn't going to be thinking about geography while going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's a very niche subject that only certain people really notice, but it's always there. It affects so many random aspects of life that people don't think about. One of these ways is population. Have you ever thought about why you live where you live? Every city has a reason for why it's located where it is. Some cities developed later based on their climate. Certain areas have become densely populated based on some sort of watershed or major geographical feature. So in this video, I wanted to go over some of these reasons and maybe make you think differently about the country as a whole. Before that, though, I wanted to take a moment to invite you to our channel Discord server where we talk about geography and other very interesting stuff. The link is in the description below, so please consider joining because we'd love to have you. Thank you. So let's start in Chicago, the most major city in between LA and New York. The city started to be developed at a time where the country was moving more inland in the mid-1800s, and there pretty much needed to be a major metropolitan area for the sake of the economy. People were looking around for which city would turn into that regional center. Now they technically could have chosen anywhere, but Chicago ended up being that city. Why? Well, that's where geography comes into play. First, we look at the Great Lakes, an extremely major geographical feature of North America, bringing water travel from the Atlantic into the heart of the country. Chicago just so happens to be located at the southwest extreme of Lake Michigan, right at the mouth of the Chicago River. In the wet season, you could even travel by boat from Chicago right into the Illinois River and in turn the Mississippi. Now, because of all of this, Chicago was the best place to build a canal to fully connect the Great Lakes into one of the largest watersheds in the world. Once that canal was built, Chicago had basically set itself up to control transportation in the region. That brought rail to the area, in turn creating more business and building the economy. And then slowly Chicago just became the place to be, growing to become the third biggest city in the country. This would not have happened if it wasn't located in the best geographical position the central U.S. had to offer. Pretty much every single major city in the country was set up to be there beforehand. It's no coincidence the biggest city in the country just so happens to be located at probably the most geographically perfect location, right at the mouth of the Hudson River, holding a ton of perfect islands for development. It was always going to be this way, because of the geography of the country. As well as that, the locations where the geography and terrain was specifically difficult to develop also affects us today in more ways than you might think. Up until the 1950s, areas in the Sun Belt were very difficult to develop because of the heat and lack of air conditioning. This completely changed the path of that region as a whole. Everyone hates cities like Houston or Phoenix for a reason, and I do think that in part has to do with the geography. These cities were only able to be developed later on, meaning by the time they started to see their major growth, the country had moved to more suburban development. These cities are a lot less dense with more freeways and car-oriented development. The whole of the Sun Belt is just a lot more suburban and less focused on the central city than somewhere more historic like the Northeast. As well as that, mountains obviously make or break development and population patterns. Somewhere like Denver has perfectly used this to their advantage, because it makes the location a lot more desirable. You can't tell me Denver would be as big as it is now if you moved it 100 miles to the east straight into the Great Plains, and it definitely would have been completely different if you moved it 100 miles to the west straight into the middle of the Rockies. Somewhere like San Francisco has been stunted because of its geography. The city has been forced to move up instead of outwards because of its location on a peninsula. This has created a unique skyline and has boosted housing prices to crazy levels. If we move back to Phoenix, we can see how having the ability to expand outwards has completely stunted the growth in the downtown. A city of Phoenix's size should have a much larger skyline than it does. But because of the geography, they simply don't need it. Now, more than anything else, there's one thing about geography that affects population. Water. Of course, the coasts are the most populated areas. Water is the most important feature for cities. The Mississippi River has created so many important cities and areas. New Orleans, Memphis, St. Louis, Minneapolis are all located on the actual river. But if we include the whole drainage basin, we have everything from Denver to Pittsburgh. Basically, the whole central part of the nation was built off the Mississippi River in one way or another. Water created California's Central Valley, an extremely important area to the nation, with cities like Redding, Sacramento, Stockton, Fresno, Bakersfield, and many more smaller cities. It's become one of the most important hubs for farming and agriculture as a whole. This would not have happened if it wasn't for the perfect water resources presented by it. What I'm trying to say by all of this is that you can basically say anything related to cities and population development, and geography is going to be a main factor in why it is the way it is. 
It affects your everyday life, and even though you may not notice, it's always there and it changes everything. I've thought a lot about how cities would develop if the world was completely flat and had no uniqueness in the geography. And that's a topic for another time, but what matters is that it's not the world we live in. So we do have to deal with the unique geography around us. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the members this week, Big Pasty, Jeremy Crone, Carport, Wolflink73, Snyder Schwein, Florida Jake, Philip Gertz, Somnam Woods, Stormy Knight, Nikita Martinoff, KMS162, Haystack, Benjamin Whiting, Ryan Devins, Hazev the Wolf, Jake Holloway, JL, Dominic Psyche, Rosebud4, and Bryzen. I appreciate you all so much. You genuinely help out the channel more than anybody else. If you want to become a member, the link is in the description below, as well as the join button next to the subscribe button. All of the money from memberships just goes straight into my college savings, so you know I'm not spending it on something dumb. You're genuinely just helping me out as a person, so I really, really appreciate it. Thank you.